compact. Okay, there you go. Boy, that was <laughs> a little too hard on that one. Okay. Set up loading files. Um, I know with Windows 2000 and Windows XP, this is usually the longest part of the setup. <laughs> And when I was sticking the Windows 2000 CD in the drive, um, there was already a CD in there. I don't know what's on it, if anything, but uh, afraid to put it in because I'm afraid I might be intruding on some someone's personal life. So <laughs> no telling what's on that thing. Might be something kind of you. I know, very bad Ernest P. Roll impression. <laughs> and by the way, if you speaking of Ernest P. Whirl, um, if you happen to find this at a store and you like Ernest, pick this up. It's um, just disc two, but it's a two disc set of um, Ernest movies and all the commercials he did back in the eighties. The movies it has are, um, I think, Ernest in the Army and. What was the other one? I can't remember. Ernest in the Army. Oh, it's not on that disc, but uh, if I think of it, I'll tell you. But anyway, um, comes the setup. <laughs> the screen's blinking a little bit. Okay. Enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's the partition screen. Just delete this partition right here. Okay, we'll create a partition in the unpartitioned space. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the quick version of this, so... We're definitely going to have to do a jump cut here. This will probably take about uh, 20 minutes or so, so um, we'll see what happens then. It's Ernest Goes to Africa. That's it. Ernest Goes to Africa. Okay, just finished formatting the partition. It, it took like 10 minutes. It quicker than I thought it would, but um, it's copying the files now, and... Um, Looks like we'll be good to go. Um, and by the way, I um, here's how I wrote down the drivers on my that are on this computer before I wiped out 98. So lazy, I had to do this. Take pictures of the device manager on my cell phone. <laughs> but anyway, it has everything on there I need. Yeah, but then again, maybe Windows 2000 will recognize all the devices and I, don't, and I don't have to do anything else to it. We'll see. Hey, okay, it's done copying the files. It says please wait while setup initializes your Windows 2000 configuration. Okay, um, let's go ahead and reboot. do that anymore. Storming Windows. Windows 2000 built on NT technology. By the way, this version of 2000 is the RTM. This does not have any service packs in it whatsoever. This is the original from early 2000s, so um, we'll have to install service pack 4 after I get this installed. Okay, here's the GUI portion of the setup.
please wait. Well, I appreciate you being polite. Okay, here's a uh, 2000 setup wizard. I didn't even click it, <laughs> but I'll. I don't know how long this will take, so I'll just go ahead and pause the video. Okay, um, next part of the setup. Uh. uh can you type your full name? I'll pause the video while I type this in. Okay, I typed it in. I'm sorry I had to cut there. I had to set the camera down while I was typing. But there we go. Let's click next. Uh, I'll just type in uh, compact. Must have detected a modem. I'll just, I'll just type it in anyway. Actually, the time's all messed up, but uh, there we go. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 4:46 p.m. So we'll. Uh, time zone is always down there. <laughs> okay, um, I'll do it. Uh, I wonder if the CMOS is acting up a little bit because of the date and time. Okay, networking components. Calls. Okay, it's installing some networking components there, um, so I'm tell them how long this will take, so we'll pause once again. Sorry for all the pausing, but i got, got to keep it under the 15-minute limit. Okay, finally done. Completing the Windows 2000 setup wizard. Okay, we'll click finish. And this ought to be... This ought to do the trick. I don't need to do that again. And here we go. It's looking good. Resolution is just is a little is a little off just a bit. Okay, uh, really have no interest in any of that. Okay, let's wait for it to, and there's no sound because I simply do not have any speakers hooked up at the moment. Okay, we'll close out all that, see if we can work on this resolution problem. And 
maybe this will just kind of reset it. Or not. <laughs> Hold on, um, let's pause it while I fix this. But there it is. Um, when I last hit the pause button, it was like 5 o'clock p.m. And now it's 7 p.m. I um, right, right after I hit the pause button, I got a had a phone call from a good friend of mine, um, Chris Master One, who just did it. Who's working on his 100th video, by the way. So, and if you haven't seen his channel yet, check check him out. I highly recommend it. But we talked for several hours, but I want to call him again a little bit. But anyway, um, here's Windows 2000 on the Compact Presario. Um, I can't think of the model name now. <laughs> but um, I fixed the resolution problem. I had to switch to a lower resolution, but that's really no big deal because I probably won't have it hooked up to this monitor all the time. I'll probably have it hooked up to some other monitor, so that's no big deal. Got it. Hit to 1024 by 768, but and it and and yes, it did it did detect all of the current drivers on here, except uh, except for the Ethernet adapter. I'll, I'll have to hunt down the drivers for it on the internet, but I'll worry about that later on. But yeah, Windows 2000 is running just fine on here. Um, I got to put service pack 4 in here but we'll do that in a little bit so for now this is Billy Core signing off on August 30th 2010 goodbye